Hey guys, it's over here, back with another review, and while I don't normally do reviews on Sundays unless I have, you know, the next day off, or, uh, something, I normally don't do videos on Sunday, so, uh, this is a bit of a special review since I just picked this gal up today. This is, uh, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Deluxe class rip claw, and she is bad arse. We don't swear on here most of the time, but uh, she does have this ginormous scorpion tail with a piece of paper in it. Ooh. Uh, let's see what this says. It's another random YouTube user. I don't know. Oh, no, no, it's a check for a million dollars. <laughs> I wish. It's a uh, shout out to my friend SMU Toys. Uh, this piece of paper is a little different, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you should check him out. He does awesome review. He does all sorts of stuff. He does lunch time, dinner time, I'm waiting for breakfast time. Uh, he does toy runs, toy hauls, toy hunts, toy reviews. He's done a couple gameplays, I believe. But, uh, yeah, he's a really cool guy. You should check him out. And, uh, yeah, speaking of this, uh, claw up here, and, uh, before I forget, his, uh, channel will be in the, there will be a link to his channel, la la la, in the, uh, description below. But, uh, here is this claw weapon, and how this works is, uh, in this up a smidge, so you can see it. Uh, you open it up, push it down, and it grabs your finger, and you say, ow. It doesn't really hurt, but, uh, you know, who, who cares? Uh, I also want to mention that her head and her tail alike. I'll show you the tail first. You can give her some whiplash action with this. Because it's got a uh, rubber hose that goes through it and uh, gives a little more free movement. And uh, same with the head, it's made out of this uh, really odd soft plastic. Sorry you can't really see it. Lighting's not as good as uh, the other reviews I shot last week, but uh, her mouth will still open and close. You just gotta like smack it. <laughs> gotta smack it in the face. And then her wings are on some simple hinges. Now, uh, size comparison here, she is with, a uh, Laserback. The Gargoyle, the Predacons, is what I call them. And, uh, they stack up pretty well. And here she is with another evil chick, uh, Demona from Gargoyles. You saw this coming. Don't, don't you, don't look at me that way. You saw this coming. So, uh, that's about it for Beast Mode. So, uh, I'm gonna get her transformed into a robot mode, and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and we have, uh, Ripclaw back in her, in her robot mode. I don't know what the back was for, but, uh, just threw it in there. I'm just, we're random here, but, uh, before we, uh, get into her uh, robot mode. Let's have a look at her weapon. It did detach. It does. Blah, blah, screwing up in this video. It does detach from her uh, tail and become a single little handgun. You can still do the clank gimmick. It looks like a Doc Ock claw, if anything. Especially when connected to the tail, but she can hold it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But, uh, if anything, she's like a combination of a Nihilus from Fantastic Four and Samus Aran. Samus Aran being the body, and a Nihilus being this freaky looking head. I mean, look at that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sounds like someone farted in here. Awkward. But, uh, yeah, that head is something scary. Yeah, there we go again. Was it you, Laserback? 
Huh? Was it? But there she is next to a laser back. Move her over a bit. Laser back is a lot heftier. <laughs> I almost thought he. I almost think he's like taller too. I don't know. You guys decide. But uh, yeah, we might as well bring her in too. Here is a move. Thank you, Demona from Gargoyles. Once again. Yeah. Crossovers in this video, but uh, I didn't go over her articulation in beast mode, and I do want to mention that I, I apologize for that, by the way. Uh, but uh, if we had an intruder as you heard my door open, but uh, I do want to mention a piece of the transformation. Uh, her this was connected to this red bit here in beast mode, but it actually uh, pops off and pops back in to her lower leg to give her a single knee joint, which I think is pretty clever. And uh, you can still do the tail gimmick here. Have her whip it around. Lash somebody in the nose. And I do want to mention it gets uh, pretty high over her head. But uh, she does have, her head is a little collapsed in there. I think they could have executed that a little better. Uh, her shoulder pads, I will forewarn you, will pop off. Uh, make sure you have these joints up, too. I mistransformed her in beast mode. I had these up when they were actually supposed to be, like, right around here. But she does have thigh swivels, and, uh, she has a which uh, are pretty hard to see, and she does have a very good knee joint. I will show you that. I'm probably gonna cut this song, kill the music once the song is over, so I can actually give you a in-depth video. So, uh, just a sec. Alrighty. So, uh, she does have uh, ball joints in the shoulders. You just have to move that up. And you can see him pretty well. And she, I like this because this swivel joint here, that's how she doesn't get the, you know, uh, uh, bell bar thing. I, f I forget what it's called, but the, it's the joint with the deluxe bulkhead has. The joint that the deluxe bulkhead has. He's got like the ab crunch or whatever. I don't know. It's not ab crunch. What am I talking about? I don't know, bodybuilding joint, bell bar, I think it was something along the lines of that. She does have a little kibble, the head in particular, but it kind of looks like a jetpack, so it doesn't bug me all that much. Plus, if you have her wings out a little bit, doesn't, uh, doesn't detract from the figure's uh, looks. I just had him like that for this review. But overall, I think she's cool. Ooh. Overall, I think she is a good buy. I highly recommend her. I just have a problem with the rubber in the tail and the head because I don't want it to deteriorate, deteriorate and break on me. Plus the uh, little bits of kibble. But other than that, she is pretty uh, awesome. And uh, I would highly recommend her to any Transformers Prime collector. And uh, she's getting an 8 out of 10. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more, and don't forget to check out SMU Toys' channel. Link will be in the description below. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace!